Where are you going, man? Did that fool leave me from home last night? What? Probably with Rosa and I did. He ain't never left no good with her. Anyway, I reckon Tibble from the Catholic family sent a letter to our leader of our crew, Lord Marston. A brawl? Oh, if it is, Roman will definitely take him off. You don't stand a chance. He's so caught up with Roseline that he brought the ground had been man. Wait, why does not stand a chance against this Tibble? What's his story? Have you seen him lately? He's huge, and he could take Roman down in a second. Plus, the beat is off the chart, and he sees so much better than us because he white and we black. You mean a big white girl. Uh, you know, can I be my fan? Here you go, Mary. Good, a fan had that ugly face. Good morning, gentlemen. Good afternoon, it's the afternoon. And how dare you insult me when you probably can't even afford a watch. Excuse me, ma'am, but the color of my skin don't determine how much money I got. Probably just a servant to one of my neighbors anyways. Anyhow. I would like to speak of this Romeo. Speaking with you is just a waste of my time, and I don't have any time to waste. I am, ma'am. What can I do for you? If you are the Romeo you claim to be, I would like to have a private talk with you, away from these fools. <laughs> Wait, I've got it. What do you mean, Mercutio? She couldn't be a prostitute unless she uses her ugliness to blind men. <laughs> so funny. Mercutio, let's go. Romeo, you coming? Yeah, I'll be right there. Oh, he was just awful. Why didn't I know he was such a rude boy? I am not one of this Negro woman. And Peter, why didn't you back me up? I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't feel the need to. Oh, good Lord, Mercutio. He's just full of himself. He likes to hear the sound of his own voice. Don't worry about him, ma'am. Oh, I don't approve of that fool at all. However, it is you I need to have a word with. My dear baby Juliet has requested for me to speak with you. I don't think it will be necessary to share exactly what she said, but I will tell you this. There will always be risks with you, a colored boy, marrying my Juliet. You must be careful with every word you speak and every step you take. You could get arrested for all we know. People around here, they don't accept these kinds of marriages, especially you and Juliet. I swear, ma'am, I don't need boy. You seem to have a good heart. Please tell Juliet to speak at our house later this afternoon so we can get married in the church. There's one just down the block. One of our most trusted boys will pick her up at a nearby alley. Are you sure you won't tell her your secrets? Positive, ma'am. Thank you very much. And tell Juliet I love her very much, though. I will, of course. Peter, 